To continue on the history of Shaman Shocks, we'll be covering Flame Shock today. Flame Shock was the dot shock available to shamans. Shamans could choose to cast one of three shocks at a time, since they all shared the same cooldown. Flame Shock was probably the most used, seeing as it did the most damage per cast, during most expansions anyway. Compared to the other two shocks, if you included its full dot duration in addition to its upfront damage. Plus, it interacted with other shaman abilities in a vital way, in which you had no choice but to use it first. And then maybe you could choose one of the other two shocks later. In Flame Shock's first form, it was a 12 second dot that did a little bit of upfront damage, had a short 20 yard range just like the other two shocks, and shared a 6 second cooldown. Of the three shocks, Flame Shock was the most mana efficient, and did the most total damage if you counted the full dot per cast. Which is not half bad considering how overpowered the other two shocks were at this time in comparison. Which means it still very much saw use. Flame Shock only saw minor changes until Wrath of the Lich King. Seeing as it was already pretty balanced, it didn't need very many changes. In Wrath, a new ability was added to shamans called Lava Burst which when used on a target would consume Flame Shock to cause it to crit, with a glyph available to not consume the dot on use. Later on, Blizzard just changed Lava Burst to not consume Flame Shock on use, because it just pissed everyone off having to use a glyph to not purge their own dot from using a rotational ability, and instead changed the glyph to allow Flame Shock to crit. Because at this time in WoW's history, by default, dots did not crit or scale with haste. You needed special set bonuses, talents, or glyphs to let them do that, and only a handful of dots could even have the ability to be altered in this way. With patch 3.3.3, Flame Shock was given the ability to crit and be affected by haste baseline, one of the very first dots in the game to get this treatment before Blizzard changed most dots to work this way in Cataclysm. And the Flame Shock glyph was changed for a third time, this time to increase the crit damage of Flame Shock by 60%. It was also in Wrath of the Lich King that Flame Shock saw its duration increased from 12 to 18 seconds. Not a terribly significant change, but this did mean you didn't have to cast Flame Shock as often, which helped considering it did share a cooldown with two other shocks. I should also mention that Wrath introduced Dispel Protection to Flame Shock in the form of a 30% haste buff, if you took the talent anyway. I remember once getting just absolutely murdered by a shaman after being able to brush off his damage pretty easily on my priest for most of the arena match I was doing, and could not for the life of me understand what happened, until I checked his buffs and found out I had given him a huge buff when I dispelled his flame shock off myself, and he popped all of his cooldowns to take advantage of his newfound haste, and quickly brought me down from full health to dead in about 5 seconds. Not all dots have dispel protection, and Flame Shock doesn't really have dispel protection anymore, depending on what spec uses it, but I'm still wary about dispelling Flame Shock even to this day because of that traumatizing event. In Cataclysm, Flame Shock had its low, low range of 20 yards increased to 25 yards by default. Yay! 25 yards is actually still pretty damn short, especially for a dot. A dot part of your normal rotation, I might add. There have always been talents, though, to increase its range, so it wasn't that bad. It was also in Cataclysm that Enhanced Shamans were turned into AoE gods for like the first time ever. Enhanced Shamans could now spread Flame Shock to four new targets every time they hit with their Lava Lash. So when this dot, which was tuned around being pretty much a single target only dot, was now spread to four new targets every time you used one of your normal rotational abilities, well, it did a lot of AoE damage. Tons of AoE damage, in fact, because Enhanced Shamans also had another ability called Fire Nova, which would cause all targets with Flame Shock on them to explode for AoE damage. This meant that after one spread, your Fire Nova would activate on five targets, with all five targets taking damage from the other five Fire Novas as well giving Enhanced Shamans top tier AoE damage. Not the best though. Cataclysm was also the time when Combustion Spread Fire Mages were first put into the game, and that was the best AoE damage in the history of the game. So nothing could really compare to that, but it was still pretty good regardless. In Mist, Flame Shock had its duration increased two times. The first from 18 to 24 seconds, turning it into a pretty long dot and then again later on from 24 seconds to 30, making it the second longest dot in the game, I think. 
To my knowledge, I can't really think of any other dot that was longer than 30 seconds baseline. Besides Curse of Doom that Warlocks have, which was a minute long. But the whole point of Curse of Doom is that it's a long dot. So it's historically worked different than other dots. Some expansions, it would only tick one time after 60 seconds. And in others, it would tick once every 15 seconds. But Flameshock was probably the longest conventional dot, meaning ticking every 3 seconds like most other dots do. In Warlords of Draenor, Enhanced Shamans were given a perk to spread Flameshock to 6 targets instead of 4 when AoEing. Then in Legion, like most Shaman spells, Flameshock underwent a few changes. Flameshock is now only usable by Resto and Elemental Shamans. For both specs, they were given a 40 yard range by default. Finally, I might add. For Elemental, the dot has no cooldown, and has a baseline duration of 15 seconds, but can be increased to up to 30 seconds depending on how much Maelstrom you spend when you cast it. And for Resto Shamans, it still has its 6 second cooldown, and only lasts 21 seconds by default instead of 30. And does basically what it's always done, puts up a little upfront damage and applies the dot. Also, Lava Lash no longer spreads Flame Shock, seeing as Flame Shock was removed from Enhancement. And that's it for the history of Flame Shock. I've already done a video on the history of Frost Shock, and I'll be doing a video on Earth Shock next. If you have a suggestion for another type of history video, just let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to check my playlist on this series to see if I haven't already covered what you might be suggesting because I do get a lot of requests on abilities I've already covered.